Hello world, I'm Chris Perillo, and I'm about to share with you my initial impressions of this iPad Pro, the first iPad Pro that was produced with a 10.5 inch screen. You might remember that I also happened to have the first 12.9 inch iPad Pro that's sitting off to the side. You can't see it, you won't see it. It's not what this video is about really. Uh, I'll be talking about that old iPad in relation to the new iPad uh, separately, but I have to let you know that my patrons at chrisperillo.com are getting my insight, my analysis, my perspectives on the tech industry today uh, as I take 20 years of experience and provide it for them because, quite honestly, they value my opinion and can support that endeavor. Everybody else, well, you get the perspectives as well. It's just Time shifted sometimes, but you don't get a lot of my tech insight anymore. I'm not going to apologize for that. Uh, I did not pre-order this iPad. Now, that's different. I, I've, I've pre-ordered every other iPad uh, that I've had, and uh, that stopped after the release of recent iPads in relation to iOS in its initial incarnation with major uh, releases. So there was a time that Apple's software was better than its hardware, like leaps and bounds. Like what pulled me into the iPhone wasn't the hardware, it wasn't the hardware for anybody really, spec wise, right? It was the software. It did so well with the hardware. And so when you got new hardware, iOS would be even more responsive. It would be better dramatically sometimes. Uh, that changed, that stopped with the release of iOS 7. And uh, I've been patient, I've been more than patient. It just seems that Apple's in a completely different kind of software development cycle, and that is not really to my liking. So before I pre-ordered this iPad, I wanted to make sure that it was a true improvement over past iterations of that particular device. I can't say that over time I was necessarily thrilled with the general layout of apps, not just default apps, but third-party apps, on the larger screened iPad Pro, and that's how I'm going to refer to it because no one cares about the measurements. Like, is it a big screen? Is it just a, 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 a medium screen? Is it a small screen? That's really what, what I don't sit here and think, oh, it's, I, I feel this is 10.5 inches. This is, this is amazing. No one thinks about that. Uh, I just want to think about a task that I'm trying to accomplish, right? So I went to the Apple store. It was mostly empty, <laughs> which was kind of a surprise, because <laughs> usually, <clears throat> I guess my experience has been that when Apple releases new hardware, uh, the store is busy. And uh, granted, this was uh, the middle of a weekday, but it was just surprisingly empty. And here we are kind of in the middle of summer, so it's not that kids were in school necessarily, it's just no one was there. Um, immediately upon, uh, you know, touching an iPad Pro, I knew I was touching a new one. I didn't have to check any of the specs or signs or anything because of the responsiveness due to what Apple calls its ProMotion display. Now, I'm not going to dive too deep into the, you know, the, what that uh, details. Suffice it to say, the result of having ProMotion in an iPad makes for a much more responsive experience. That's all you need to know, honestly. If you want side-by-side -side comparisons, some person is uploading a new one every five minutes. So I'm not even going to bother doing what other people can do and have done and continue to do. It's uh, exactly what I've been missing. And I, I'm just going to put it out right there. And what are you saying? How can you miss something that's never been around? I'm not saying that ProMotion is old. It's new. It, 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 it is rather astounding in terms of what it can do to compensate for Apple's lackluster platform performance. Uh, and I don't mean, well, you know, it's got a CPU that's too slow. In fact, I have to throw this in there, too. Um, the clerk, the, the nice uh, Apple Store employee, very nice, <laughs> playing, playing with the iPad, right? I'm checking to see if it uh, mitigates, ProMotion mitigates uh, the uh, incessant frame drops and frame rate cons inconsistencies in iOS, which has become its hallmark since iOS 7. And he tells me, it's got an a A10X processor. What, do people still care about that? Whoa, whoa, A10. Oh. <laughs> Better than that A A9X, tell you what. <laughs> yeah, that's... 
So I just, I nodded and I'm like, oh, okay, interesting. Um, he was kind of mansplaining it to me. <laughs> I just, I listened, but I'm sitting there, I'm going, is this thing, you know, really, really going to be better? So, um, uh, he, nice guy, nice guy. I'm not, I'm not taking away from, from that, but it's just kind of funny. Uh, specs are irrelevant by and large. Uh, what you need to know is that ProMotion does improve uh, the, the iOS experience and it will be a, um, uh, mistake on Apple's part to release any future uh, devices, iOS devices with screens, which with touch screens, without ProMotion integrated. It makes that much of a difference. And here's the thing, I've been complaining uh, for, for years, and this goes well beyond you know iOS 7, like even before. I'm very sensitive, like I am with uh, 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 like VR experiences, I get motion sickness if there, the refresh rate is, is not high enough. Um, or, you know, if it's just, it, it's just low quality product. I am very sensitive to that. Not everybody is like someone could look at something that just is so choppy and say, what? It's, it's fine. I, <laughs> I see, I see too much. And I wish I could unsee this stuff. So, um, it's smooth. It, it really is. But what's kind of bittersweet about ProMotion in, in the iPad Pro uh, not just the 10.5 inch, but also the new 12.9 uh, inch, is that it reminds me of performance of days gone by. iOS used to be insanely smooth on hardware that was like a fraction of what it is today. Like Apple was that skilled with eking out performance with software, but iOS has become so bloated that they can't improve it fast enough or it's it's a it's a diminishing return in terms of improving iOS performance in terms of are people going to buy it because iOS performance improved? No, I don't think that's what people would generally do. So they're throwing more hardware at an underlying software problem and that is still apparent in using uh, the iPad Pro, not just in store because uh, by and large, most of the uh, the impressions, and I've only really listed one here, uh, that I've had were largely in store, uh, only bolstered by having purchased the device. They had plenty in stock. I, I, you know what? There's nothing wrong with old iPads. Nothing at all. Although, I will say this. And if I stepped over my own sentence before, if Apple ships anything without promotion, I would find it very difficult to consider as anything but a lateral move. It it brings back the smoothness, for the most part, of iOS. They threw hardware at a software problem that is still prevalent even with uh, promotion. So more responsive in general operation. Animations are clean. What's funny? This is. This is what tears me up, right? So some people slag me for, you know, asking if, if you'd support me by way of a, a patron campaign, chrisperillo.com. But I'm right. <laughs> I've been right about so many things. And now I'm hearing from these tech reviewers, right? Well, the, the difference is night and day between ProMotion and, and, and an iPad that was new just a few weeks ago, right? Well, it's really smooth. and uh, They forget. They forget how smooth it was. They've become so accustomed to the chop that they accept that. They accepted it. I didn't. I never did. I never accepted it. ProMotion, as far as I'm concerned, only proves me right. Because imagine this, if you can't understand it. You're driving on a bumpy road, right? It's a bumpy road, right? You, you, you don't necessarily feel every bump because there's so many of them. Then you're on a smooth road. Oh, smooth. And then you hit a bump. You feel that bump. You remember that bump. That bump was jarring. That's the difference between an old bumpy road iOS experience and the new smooth road with a little bit of chop with an iPad at this point in time with the uh, ProMotion technology, which is a horrible spelling because it spells promotion and trying to search for that, forget about it. Um, so anyway, uh, it, it's kind of vindicating to hear all, all these, uh, you know, uh, pundits, people who allegedly have given you the truth over all these years, confirming everything that I had said before. It's not that iOS became more choppy because we, we have a, a new technology. It's always been that way, or at least has since iOS 7. 
Ugh! It just irritates me. Because I've taken my lumps, right? Well, you should ignore it. and blah, blah, blah. It's not a problem, blah, blah, blah. It's just you. Fine. Whatever. Listen to what other people are saying if you don't believe me. It pales by comparison. That's how much of a dramatic difference it is. And if I'm telling you that, you know how sensitive I am to this stuff. But I'm telling you, Apple's finally delivered on a promise they made years ago. Apple's finally come back around to providing a decent iOS experience. Now, I'm not talking about iOS slop and, and layout issues. That's a completely different set of nightmares. I'm talking about a... The final shipping version, uh, three minor revisions in, uh, running uh, the iPad Pro currently ships with a, uh, uh, a uh, uh, with well, now an older operating system, given that the first developer beta of iOS 11 has been released. I'm not running the iOS 11 uh, developer beta. I don't want that. I may pop into the public beta, uh, but at this point in time, iOS 10.2.3, no, iOS 3.2 iOS 10.3.2. No one remembers this stuff. No one. Hey, what iPad are you running? Office 95. Let's see. Let's see. So anyway, uh, it was responsive enough, uh, despite the snags. The, and, and when I say snags, I'm talking about, you know, you load the music app and you scroll and then it, it jumps. Or, you know, you load the app store and it's generally smooth and then it, and then it jumps or it skips. Or, you know, an animation kind of, you know, kind of jitters into... Uh, display. So those things were there, but it, it was substantially better than anything we've had before. Uh, that was enough to make the decision for me. Nothing else drove me to wanting to uh, basically uh, get rid of the older iPad, which is working just fine, and, and, and move to uh, uh, the uh, the 10.5 inch uh, uh, variety. Now I will talk about the comparisons Again, in a separate video, but I just wanted to talk about initial impressions of uh, this particular iPad. Um, I ran into a, a variety of hiccups in the dialog display running split screen with Apple's apps. This is in store where they, you know, you may futz with things differently, but generally speaking, have had the same kind of experience at home. Um, uh, in initial animations still uh, sometimes jump. More comfortable layouts in unitasking. Uh, and I, I'm saying that because I was accustomed to a larger screen. I found that um, the 10.5 inch display, I hate to tell Apple this, but it's it's probably better for most people. I, I think they may know that too, but uh, in terms of like general layouts, uh, things were just more comfortable. Like uh, the upscaled apps don't look nearly as horrific as they do on a larger screen iPad, but that's for a comparison video, a deeper dive into that, that is. Um, demonstrably better than all previous iPads, stem to stern, and I will tell you, largely because of, of the promotion technology that makes everything more fluid, right? Um, you know, giving us the promised uh, 60 frame per second performance and actually seeing it, uh, you know, play out, um, you know, 60 frames per second or, or, or potentially even beyond, uh, you know, it's, it's just more fluid, uh, which is what I've come to expect, had come to expect until uh, they unleashed uh, iOS uh, 7. But it is demonstrably better, you know, with the camera, I think, you know, the flash, if you take pictures with your iPad, some people do. I think that the, the camera is going to get a lot more use. If you hate people, for whatever reason, who use iPads in public for, for cameras, um, I think that's going to get worse with the release of iOS 11, something that I am excited about, augmented reality. I've been talking about that since at least 2009. I've got the video still, it's there. Um, long before any of this was even a possibility, I think. Uh, let's see here. Skipping a couple of things that I have said before. Uh, so, very comfortable to hold on to. And again, I say that if only because I was used to a more unwieldy iPad Pro. A, a larger iPad Pro um, is, is just, at this point, really not for me. I, I found that this is just more more comfortable. It's, it's really about the perfect size uh, for an iPad. And honestly, if Apple would have uh, offered the, the new iPad Pro variety in the 9.7, the, the classic uh, you know, uh, uh, screen size for an iPad, if they would have offered the same um, you know, features in that, I, I probably would have opted for it if only to save money uh, instead of the 10.5-inch. Uh, and I know some people are you know, just thrilled with the, uh, uh, the bezels. Haha, <laughs> I made a prediction and it came true. Uh, I'm not going to get into it. But anyway, so the bezel's uh, not as uh, prevalent. Uh, I, I think that, for me, usually is is an experience that just kind of 
be, kind of blends into the the background, right? It's not. I was never annoyed by the the bezels. I never, I never thought that they they kind of took away uh, from the overarching experience. And I'm not going to apologize for not showing you everything on the iPad because again, there are a billion and one videos about that. I like sharing what it is that I know and not necessarily showing the thing that you either have have seen a billion other times or, or what have you. Um, next. Uh, yeah, okay, so the last thing I guess I, I have in terms of initial, in, in initial impressions, uh, it, is it worse and it's not a lateral move? And I think that's key for anybody out there who's on the fence, because you may be, maybe you have an older iPad saying, nah, I don't, I don't need a new one. If there was a time to upgrade to a new iPad, and you can, uh, this is, it's a solid upgrade. It's more than a lateral move, which by and large, for the past few years, it's what it's been, largely in, in, in part uh, due to uh, the lackluster iOS uh, performance in relation to the hardware that was driving it. Uh, so this is not a lateral move. To me, this was not this was not even a lateral move going from a larger screen iPad to a smaller screen. You know, I I, I definitely like a lot of the trade offs personally based on experience. Um, it, it wasn't a lateral move for me, but I think it is is it a substantial move. It is not worse than previous iPads. And when I was waiting for the the clerk, the employee, the person at the store who facilitated the sale. Um, to uh, uh, locate the leather, oh, I, just, I missed you so much. You don't, you know, uh, you don't uh, uh, collect grime. Thank you for that. Um, he he had to find the the black one, and uh, he was in the back. And so I I decided I'm like, oh, there's an iPad sitting in front of me here. I don't know what iPad it is, and I opened it up and I'm like, whoa, night and day. Couldn't tell you what the iPad was. It was older, old. I mean, old. It's still being sold in the Apple Store, so it, it can't be that old, but. It was likely a seemingly like a, 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 a not. A, I wouldn't say it was an iPad Pro. It was definitely not an iPad Pro. I, I know that it was. It was definitely not the the previous uh, iPad Pro because the difference in performance was so striking. Like you could just you didn't even have to. Uh, you didn't need to do deep analysis. You can just see the difference. Not even having them side by side. iOS is so choppy, and it has been. I didn't need the new thing to tell you. It has been. That's what I've been on about. But now everyone, oh, we like pre promotion. We want it in every Apple product. It would be a mistake for Apple to release any new product, uh, certainly a flagship product, uh, without promotion. It makes that much of a difference. But I've kind of been talking about why it's made so much of a difference over all these years. I was right, again. Sometimes I get tired of being right, uh, you know, and, and, and when I'm wrong, I, I absolutely correct myself. I'm still eating crow about the first thing that I said about the iPhone before I had a chance to touch it. And that's what I learned. You should always get your hands on one uh, if you have a chance. And I, I put too much faith in Apple over these years, but that's that train has kind of ended unless I know that, uh, it, it, you know, the software can uh, can now keep up with the, uh, with the hardware. They just keep throwing more hardware at the software problems. It, iOS is going to get... More and more complex. I hope the hardware can keep up. For now, we're, we're closer to, to parity. Um, yeah, just listen to the other reviews. Listen very carefully at how they compare. And then remember what I've been saying. I've always been more of a software guy. Always. I don't care that it's promotion. I don't care what the speed of the processor is. I don't care how much RAM the damn thing has. How's the software? How's the experience? That's what matters. That's what people care about most. Nerds, eh, maybe we might care a little, but generally speaking, you know, what, what's going to drive uh, attention? So it's been a while since you've uh, uh, had an iPad. Might be worth looking at, might be worth touching. Uh, you've got to see it to believe it. Um, it. It really is. It's demonstrably better, and that's not something that I say <laughs> because anybody's telling me, you better say that. I'm not into validating other people's opinions. I'm just here to share my own, right? I don't care if you agree with me. I really don't. I genuinely don't. And look at this. I'm wearing droids. I didn't even know. <laughs> I wasn't even planning. Yeah, but. 
Uh, okay, everybody, I'm gonna wrap this up, say thank you. I've got a few more uh, iPad videos that I, I want to do, uh, again, primarily for the uh, patrons, but then I'll be sharing them with everybody else, if only because you know, you're welcome to become a patron and support me in that capacity if you can. I love you, I appreciate you, but at this point, I'm going to leave you to your own devices.